New tonight, a man wrongly put in prison for 16 years has now been cleared to sue the state of Ohio for compensation. Good evening, everyone. I'm Leon Bibb. And I'm Danita Harris. Lee Jordan has the night off. Daryl Houston is now a free man, but now his efforts to be paid for his time behind bars could be blocked. News Channel 5 Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now. Ron, tell us, inmates wrongly convicted usually end up getting compensation. So who is now standing in Daryl Houston's way? Well, prosecutors are fighting a recent ruling that found Houston was wrongfully convicted, and it blocks him from suing the state for compensation. That's despite this scene in court two years ago where charges were dropped. This is how it all ended, but it began in 1991 when a clerk at this convenience store was shot to death. Daryl Houston spent 16 years in prison for a murder he did not commit. Stand up, sir. In court, the only eyewitness said Houston was not the killer. Look at him real good. Mm -hmm. Is that the man you saw in the store that robbed your boss? No, it's not. Sir, is that the man in the store that shot your boss? No, it's not. And in this recent ruling, Judge Carolyn Friedland found Houston was wrongfully incarcerated. I'm just grateful that, you know, we have people in office that, you know, take their time to review everything and, you know, come back with the uh, good decision as far as in my favor. But, you know, just, you know, just to know that, you know, you do have good people out there that's, you know, that has great integrity and, you know, are going to do their best in the job that they've been elected to do. And uh, I just appreciate that fact. Houston's attorney says Judge Friedland's ruling was correct. I was thrilled for Daryl Houston. Daryl is an innocent man. He was wrongfully imprisoned by the state of Ohio. And Judge Friedland wrote a super opinion that laid out all the facts in his case and established beyond any kind of doubt that there could be that Daryl was incarcerated long, wrongly for more than 16 years. Well, no physical evidence tying Houston to the crime scene was ever found, but now Houston can't sue the state for compensation until the latest appeal is ruled on. Ron Regan, before you get away, a question. What are the prosecutors arguing in their case? Well, they filed this brief today arguing that material questions of fact remain and that Houston has not shown that he's innocent by what they call a preponderance of the evidence. They also believe the judge made legal errors in determining that Houston was, in fact, wrongly incarcerated. We'll keep following this case for you. Live in the newsroom, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. Thank you, Ron. We'll look for further reports from you as well.